Oh yeah, they call it his foot. It's right. But um, we got here at four forty. Oh, I'll tell you how we left Wingstop. We went to Dad's house to eat and whatnot. So I didn't play for a little bit. Then he just started screaming out of nowhere, just screaming, screaming, screaming. So I was just like, hmm. y'all know he's been doing that for a little minute, not consistently, but every now and then. So at first I was just like, oh, here we go. <laughs> so I ain't tired. He find his sleep. He kept going. So I was just like, something ain't right. He don't feel good. I, it took me 12 minutes to get from Cordova to downtown to get to La Bona. So we got here. At 440, and that was just like, first of all, it was packed in here, but I ain't recorded because, you know, a lot of kids, YouTube rules, I don't want to put sick children on, on the vlog, but it was packed, and they told me at the desk, just let you know now, it's going to be a wait. <laughs> I was just like, oh, man. So we checked in all that, sat there, sat here, oh, sat there for almost 30, 45 minutes, Till they call him to the little triage place. Y'all know where they take blood pressure, temperature, weight, all that. So, Darius finally got here. Mind you, we left his house at the same time. Darius got here while he was doing that, 30 minutes later. And uh, we were sitting there. We were sitting in the waiting room. So, by this time, it's like 530. And I was just like, we've been here for an hour. And the girl sitting beside us was like, I've been here for two and a half hours. And she's still in the waiting room, so I was just like, nah. So I called St. Jude. I told St. Jude what was going on. I told them we was at Labana, but we was in the waiting room. They said it was going to be a while before we get seen. So they was like, they're going to let the doctor on call? No. And they was going to call me back. So me and Darius stayed here for another 30, 45 minutes. And Darius had to be at work at 7 o'clock. So it was at five. It was like 5, 45, 6 o'clock when we got up, and we was just like, they ain't for the call us no time. So... Mind you, been here since 4.40. It's 6 o'clock. Ain't got a oh, call to the back. Don't look like they're going to call us no time soon. So, I already called St. Jude. I called St. Jude 30 minutes before we left. And we left. So, we left here and we went to Kroger to get Zion some Miralax and some apple juice. We went to go get prune juice, but we got Miralax, apple juice. We got grape juice. We got bananas. We got strawberries and stuff like that. And while we were in Kroger calling, uh, I mean, picking up this stuff, St. Jude finally called an hour later. So uh, they called an hour later, and she was just like, what's going on? I told her what was going on. She said she was going to call the people at the and uh, tell them to, that Zane need to be, go to the back ASAP. So I was like, we got to make our way back to La Bona. So we uh, checked out at Kroger. She called again. And was like that they was gonna be coming to get us soon. So we on the way back to Labana. She called again and said they just went to look for us. They couldn't find us. I told her we was on the way back. Okay, so boom. Got back at six forty. Yeah, six forty because my ETA, when I put it in my GPS said six thirty nine. Well it said six forty one and then it went from six forty, then it went to six thirty nine. So we came back in the door at six forty. We were walking back in. So Told the man Zay uh, was back. He was just like, okay. Called, uh, told the people we was back. Had me stand there. Stood there for like 10 minutes. Then they brought us back to the room. Sat back here for almost an hour. And then the people, no, I sat back here. We walked in at 6.40. We got back in the room probably about 6.50. 50, 6.52. Because I texted this at 6.52 and told him that we was in here. And all of that. And then the lady for registration came. And y'all know the little paper. The consent to treat paper. So y'all know I ain't lying. The lady for uh, registration came. At 6.57. I don't know if y'all can see that. 6.57 p.m. The lady for registration was in here. And y'all just saw a few minutes ago. I don't know what time it was before uh, they walked in and told us to come do the x-ray. But when they walked in, that was the first time anybody had been back <laughs> since then. So this process has been going on since 4.40. So it's going on three, four hours. So um, 
yeah, I'm frustrated. I left here because why he just sit here <laughs> weeping, literally weeping, and I'm just supposed to sit in the waiting room for two, three hours for some boo boo. So he was uh I know he constipated. I know more fact he gotta be constipated because like what else could it be? And now he won't stand up. Like literally, I y'all know y'all know Zane. Y'all know Zane gonna walk and he gonna get into whatever he gonna get into, but he won't stand up. Like I got a video clip on uh, if I remember, I'm gonna insert it so y'all can see. But he literally he's cro like sliding his legs, and then he try to get up and he keep going back down, and I'm just like something not right with his legs. So. Ain't nobody been in here, so so I can tell them what's going on with his legs. So I'm just waiting on somebody to come in here that I can talk to and let them know that I want them to, by me, check this out, see what's going on. So, um, yeah, I know Zane got to be tired because he ain't really slept at all today, and it's going on 8 o'clock. And he really have had nothing to eat, but I've been trying to feed him. He won't eat, so, and he don't want to drink water. For whatever reason today. So yeah. Keep playing in your prayers. And hopefully somebody comes in here soon. So we can have some type of answers. To something. But yeah. I'll let y'all know what's going on. Later. So I'll see y'all. Later.